Fungi yang melanggan orang tahu na. Hello viewers, welcome back again. This is Teacher Rajab, and this is our fourth lesson. We are looking at the Holy Spirit. And now in today's class, we get to look at the gifts of the Holy Spirit. What is a gift? Right? We get to look at what is a gift. And remember, a gift is always, is always, is always um, uh, closed in a, in, 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 a, in a beautiful way, right? Right? It's wrap. You, you, you know what we call the, the, the gift wrappers, right? Right? They get, they get, to, they, they, they get, to, they get to fold that gift in it, right? Now, we get to look at the gift of the Holy Spirit. What is a gift? Right? And remember, there was the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit came in terms of gifts. What are these gifts that the Holy Spirit came with? Right? That's what class we're going to, we get to look at in, today, in today's class. The station you're watching is Limit TV. Welcome all and let us learn. Now, lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson class, we able to state the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We need to be able to state the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, there's something coming at your screen. There's some, something coming at your screen. <coughs> As you can see, <coughs> sorry for that, gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, at the center here, you can see that gift, very beautiful gift. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, the first gift we can see there is the gift of working miracles. Right? People have the power to perform miracles. Right? People can pray. Right? And a miracle can happen. Right? People can pray and you can see rain. Good? Performing miracles. That's the first gift that came with the Holy Spirit. Then we have the... the, 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 the the gift of healing, the second gift that has popped on your screen, the gift of healing. We have people who can pray and be healed, right? Look at Jesus, right? He had that gift, he had that power of healing. Look at Peter, they were given the, the, the spirit of healing, right? Look at when, when they're going to the temple. They got this, this man who was at, 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 by, 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 the, by the gate of the temple, Jerusalem, right? He was healed. The gift of healing. Look at the gift that is popping at your screen again now. Good. That is it. The gift of wisdom. Right? The gift of wisdom. What is this gift of wisdom class? Right? What is this gift of wisdom? Right? So it is the gift that enables one to expound and make deep understanding. Right? Of all truth concerning God and his purpose on mankind. That's the gift of wisdom. Right? You expound and make a deep understanding of all the truth concerning God and his purpose to humankind. Good. Look at that. The gift of wisdom. Look at the gift that is popping again. Good. The gift of knowledge. Can you see that? The gift of knowledge. What is this gift of knowledge class? Right? So it, it, it enables Christians to understand the basic knowledge, uh, the basic, the basic, um, what is that? The basic facts about Jesus. If you don't have the gift of knowledge, you cannot understand the basic, uh, the basic, uh, the basic, uh, the basic facts about Jesus. Good. Look at the gift that is popping again on your screen, right? The gift of faith. Good. The gift of faith. Now this is referred to as the confidence in God, God's help, which inspires us to undertake difficult tasks. The gift of faith. You believe, right? For you to know that, for, for you to believe that Jesus Christ will come back again, you, ma you ought to have the gift of faith. Good. Let us look at the gift that is popping again on your screen. Good. There it is. There it is. Good. The gift of uh, the, the gift of tongues. Right? It has just popped on your screen. The gift of tongues. What is this gift of tongues? 
This is the, 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 the gift of speaking in tongues and also interpreting tongues. You can go to a congregation in church, then you, you can just get to hear people speaking in a language that you don't even understand. They are deep in the Holy Spirit. They have sunk in the Holy Spirit. Now, this is the gift of speaking in tongues. But however, look at what Paul advises. You cannot have, a spirit, you cannot have someone speaking in tongues and you don't have the one who interprets. Now, that again brings us the gift of interpreting tongues. Right? Good. Yes, the gift of prophecy. The gift that has just popped on your screen. The gift of prophecy. Right? This is the, the ability to interpret God's word and relate to it to its people. Right? The issue of foretelling the future. Interpret God's word and interpreting it to the people. Right? Look at the prophets. We had Jeremiah. We had Nehemiah. We had Amos. Good. We had Joel. Those, they had the gift of prophecy. Also today, we have the gift of prophecy. Now class, we, we just had gift hampers. That was our gift hamper, right? Our gift hamper had the, 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 the gift of wisdom, the gift of knowledge, the gift of faith, the gift of uh, healing, the gift of working miracles, the gift of uh, speaking tongues, the gift of interpreting tongues, and lastly, the, the, the gift of uh, prophecy. That was our gift hamper. Those are the gifts of the Holy Spirit. For our task, can you get to state the gifts of the Holy Spirit as taught by Paul? And for reference, get to refer to KLB, Christian, the Secondary Christian Religious Education, Students Book 3, the third edition. Get in touch with us via contact address on YouTube, Elim TV, Facebook page, Elim TV, Twitter at Elim TV underscore Kenya, and also our SMS line, get in touch with us, send us your feedback and let us get to know how our, our, our lessons and also in YouTube. Also, don't forget to subscribe. As always, this is a Limit TV, your favorite learning channel. Bye-bye and let us meet in the next lesson.